Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. Our next guest is Bernard Kovach. He's the Head of Global Innovation Accelerator at the United Nations World Food Program. Bernard, welcome. Well, it's so great to be here. Thank you for having me. No problem. First of all, let me start by asking you, what would you like the outcome of the AI for Good Global Summit to be for you? So I'm really hopeful that we can get, you know, through the gathering of so many AI engineers, experts from private sector, the UN, NGOs, think tanks, that we can actually get more of a movement into using technology for social good. Uh, and, you know, it's fine that we do like new apps, new technologies for things that we use every day in developed countries, but let's not forget about developing countries so leave nobody behind. Okay, so give me some examples of how AI is doing good. So. At the World Food Forum, we're actually using AI already at scale in a couple of uh, examples. One of these innovations that we've developed internally is called Optimus. It's a um, big data optimization tool where we optimize supply chain routes and food baskets for people. Um, and essentially, we're using this already in 40 countries, optimizing that. Uh, and that has saved over $50 million of money just using AI to optimize like supply chain routes, with the food baskets, menus, and so on, that has been then reinvested into additional food assistance for people. Another example, we're also using uh, AI, for instance, for vulnerability analysis, where we uh, essentially have near real-time food security uh, information using satellite imagery and AI. And so these are the types of use cases that we are really excited about that we are already seeing in humanitarian operations even. How is AI going to benefit our societies moving forward? This is where I'm really excited because and we see this even in our own work. We also work with startups. Uh, one startup things we work with is called Ignitia, and what they're doing is they're providing uh, accurate weather information to smallholder farmers in developing countries, so already 2.6 million smallholder farmers. Um, and it's like, when you think about like, you know, a big ag, like an agriculture, like, you know, company, they have data, they know when to harvest, when it's gonna rain, like what's, uh, when is best to uh, saw, like, now, using AI, that knowledge, that uh, know-how to actually improve the yields of smallholder farmers is now accessible in remote areas across the world. And like, this is where I believe like, you know, democratizing access to information, democratizing access to like advanced knowledge, I think this is where the power of AI is going to lie. Okay, and that said, how can AI support SDGs and zero hunger in particular? So I believe one aspect where AI can play a role is making humanitarian development organizations, but also governments more effective, like providing better services to people, uh, uh, making sure that we are more efficient and effective in delivery. So like that's definitely one area. Um, and there you can just be, uh, imagine like, you know, everybody, uh, all of a sudden you have information at your fingertips for better decisions that are, you know, like beyond what we can currently imagine. But the other aspect, and this is, I think, even more broadly applicable, is like how we can bring people along, like smallholder farmers, how we can people who are currently, you know, getting access to mobile phones, to the internet, all of a sudden having access to like the global knowledge base and expert knowledge without them actually having to do all of this. And like the opportunity is big, but we need more support. And I hope there's lots more people who are actually going to join and do AI for good. Hope indeed. Thank you so much, Bernard Kovach. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. More to come from the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva.